Hello, today's one minute mystic question comes from Simon and he asks, to what do you attribute the rigorous rejection of the mystical and spiritual by so many journalists and opinion formers? Well, I'll have to put on my futurist hat here and uh, this one might, might take us a little bit longer than one minute, but here goes. I think you have to look at this problem from, uh, from a lay perspective and, and an historical and civilizational perspective. Any journalist basically is, not, is coming from whatever perspective they present through um, multiple layers of self, including uh, multiple identities. The first thing is their, their personal biography and their experience and what they've been exposed to in terms of ideas. But then it also depends on the institution that they're in. And that, um, in turn, is part of the, the media, um, television, newspapers. Uh, these are very con generally very conservative in the mainstream. And they then, in turn, um, their worldview is heavily drawn, draws heavily from 20th century what the world view culture of mainstream modernism. Um, which is heavily influenced by science in turn. And science goes right back through um, an historical period. And you can really trace the development of, of, of that going way back to the ancient Greeks where the, Pla the, the Platonists and the Atomists were, had some, a kind of a schism there. And moving up through the schisms between the church and mystics in the 13th century in, in the Rhineland, Germany, the church and, and science, which is really where um, the big split began in the 17th century and basically science came to dominate uh, modern culture. But now in the, in the modern age uh, or the postmodern age we find that there's an increasing uh, challenge to science. So about 50% of people are, uh, have a modern worldview according to some surveys and about 35% have a postmodern worldview with about 15% having um, a traditional religious worldview. This is, a, this is the, of course, the Western perspective. Um, we can also see that uh, it, the education structures in the modern age, which draw again from that historical lineage, have enormous amount of influence on the way journalists and the media people think. Because um, when you think about it, how much time have you spent learning about the intuitive and the mystical and the spiritual in your education? If you're like mo no, most people, the answer is zero. And uh, in my case, well, if you also look at mathematics, you probably spent at least 2,000 hours of, of learning mathematics by the time you've left high school. So this creates a kind of an imbalance in the mind. Uh, in my own case, I never learned anything about the, the intuitive or the mystical. It wasn't until I was 26 years old and I started to meditate that I, I began to explore those uh, kind of things. And I spent tens of thousands of hours exploring um, the, 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 my own psyche, um, uh, dream states, um, the emotional body, mindfulness. And so I learned most of my stuff in maturity. Nobody helped me. Nobody paid me. I had to do it off my own back. And that's pretty much what it's, what it's like in most modern Western cultures. And uh, this split in the modern mind also, of course, draws upon the biological reality that the brain is... Um, divided into two hemispheres, and the left brain and the right brain do work slightly differently, um, as has been well known for some time, even though in recent years the left-right brain split has been... Uh, it's, it's, more, it's more generalized now than, than as specific as it used to be. So I hope that helps. No point taking it too personally when we've got um, thousands of years of um, historical and uh, civilizational uh, knowledge and experience affecting the way that journalists and the media present the information. I hope that helped.